Welcome back. This is Morning Express. Now, on Tuesdays, we always have the business chat. And uh, today's business chat, I think, is one that would apply to everybody else out there who owns a laptop and who takes care of it like it was the last thing that uh, ever made sense to them. So in studio, we have the Chief Executive Officer for NADCOP, and uh, that is uh, Kevin Morivi. Very young man, very intelligent, very innovative. Thank you so much for joining us, Kevin. Uh, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Um, yes, so, so I'm here. Talk to me about uh, NADCOP. What exactly do you guys do? How long has it even been in existence? Um, NADCOP. Uh, first of all, uh, let me talk about the name. It's mm -hmm. a crazy name. Eh? Yeah, how did you even come up with it? I'm sure you must have watched it in a series or something like that. But hey. Uh, NADCOP is a, is a coin of a name. It's, it's a combination of uh, NAD and COP. Mm -hmm. So for those who know NADs, uh, people who like computers. They used uh, to be called gigs, right? They yeah. They changed? Yeah, we, we kind of split. You know, they're NADs and gigs. And then they're gigs. Well, yes. during our time, they were gigs. Yeah, now, now gigs are nads. bookworms. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so the new age of geeks is called nerds, mm -hmm. who are actually people just who like staying on computer like 24 7. Yeah, mainly because of the work that we do. Mm -hmm. So, um, being a computer guy and having a background in a uh, computer, yeah. I coined the name NADCOP from the fact that I like computers a lot and I love them and I take a lot of time on them. And on top of that, I decided to put the word COP, which is short for cooperation, mm -hmm. to show a conglomerate of nuts mm -hmm. who come together and put their techie minds together and do nerdy stuff. So how many are you guys? Currently, we are six. You're six, huh? Yeah, we mm -hmm. started back then um, in campus. That's around. When you say back then in campus, <laughs> what are you even talking about? You know. <laughs> Uh, you just look like you're about two years away from campus, you know. Yeah. Yeah? So back then is how long ago? Uh, back then is I uh, finished campus in 2012. That mm -hmm. was uh, Moi University. Mm -hmm. I was pursuing information science there. Yeah. So the time we're never in class, busy programming things in our rooms. But uh, that's when it all started, actually. Back then, I used to hang out with these nerds, and mm -hmm. we used to do a lot of tinkering. Mm -hmm. Mainly because our backgrounds in engineering and things used to go together. Okay. And part of them, most of them also are designers. So we work together until now. Um, so in the process, we developed NADCOP. Uh, NADCOP uh, is basically a place where nerds of different backgrounds of both design and mm -hmm. engineering. And by engineering, I refer to... Uh, both electrical uh, engineering uh, and information info technology, information technology, and all those. Mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. So we come together and we build innovative products. Okay. Yes. So some of the products you have built are things like uh, Matrix, black box. Uh, black box. Yeah. Yes. Talk to me about that. How exactly does it work? What is it? Uh? Um, the Matrix black box. Mm -hmm. um, its origins is a very funny story. So it all started in 2012 uh, when I was just about to finish campus. And um, at that point, I actually took a loan back then to, to get a laptop. You took a loan of how much? Uh, around 65,000. Yeah. Yeah. It was to buy the first i3s because of what the nature of my work mm -hmm. back then as a designer mm -hmm. is to render a lot of projects. So you needed an i3 processor from above. Back then, it used to go for like 65 Gs. So, Did you have a job where you could be paying back? Um, they used to hustle a lot. Mm -hmm. With the jobs that I got from uh, the graphic design that I used to do on my laptop, mm -hmm. that would pay back the... Wow. Yes. Okay. Go so ahead. in the process, um, one time walking in the library and it so happened that it was stolen. By the time we went to look for it, the guards and the security had nothing. Uh, realized it's a common thing actually. I think every university student knows that if you go with a laptop from first year to fourth or fifth year and you don't lose it, you should be thankful to the gods. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I lost my laptop and I lost a lot of data in it. So it was devastating. Uh, whatever was back there was software trackers. Eh? 
I had one, but I realized I couldn't track it mm -hmm. because software-based trackers, once the laptop is formatted, you can't get it. On top of that, if it doesn't connect to any network, you won't know where it is. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to buy a new laptop. And this time I'm going to really take care of it. Mm -hmm. So once I left campus, still working with NADCOP, trying to do innovative things, it got stolen again at my home. That was the second one? Yes. Okay. So I lost the second laptop. Mm -hmm. And that's when I, it got me thinking, you know what, this is, a, this is a real problem. We need to solve. So I started the project. And uh, by that time, to around uh, 2013, um, I was actually winding up and finishing it. Huh? And mm -hmm. uh, at that point when I had lost my second laptop, a friend of mine who actually works with Standard had helped me with his laptop. Apparently on Thika Road, mm -hmm. a very interesting road, where people walk in and as a gang and then they walk out. And by the time you look in your bag, you have Nothing. no laptop. Mm -hmm. They did the same thing. So this time I lost my third laptop, and this time it had the tracker project. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. So you had to start all over so again. So we started again. <laughs> this time backing up on the cloud and things like that. I realized this thing is a real problem. So I have to finish it. So at the end of the uh, fall of 2013, I finished it. At that time, it was the tracker. It was just a tracker. But um, having just been a tracker and having installed it in my new laptop that I bought later on, mm -hmm. it didn't stop there. It became more than a tracker. I found out new ways of playing around with the hardware that I had created. Mm -hmm. And uh, by playing around, I mean, I decided, you know what, why not put this tracker in, uh, uh, I mean, add this component to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, on top of tracking, you can do this other thing. You get. So what are those other things uh, besides tracking? Um, uh, I can mention one. Mm -hmm. A notable mention is I added Wi-Fi on it. Okay. Yes. So I decided, you know what, instead of just having a tracker that stays in your laptop doing nothing, you know what, let's add uh, Wi-Fi on it, such that wherever you go, you have Wi-Fi and you don't need to carry your modem. Mm -hmm. So there's no plugging in of modems again. Huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's always connected to the net. So when you're in the field, if you're working, you just log in, your black box creates a Wi-Fi, and you can log in as many devices as you want. Mm -hmm. So that's where it all started. And when I added the Wi-Fi, now I realize it's no longer a tracker. You can't call it a tracker now. You have to call it something else. I added more features again, such as um, tools to be able to interface with it and make calls directly from your laptop without need of a mobile phone. Okay. So I can look at logs and my work schedule and uh, what I'm doing, and I can text clients directly from my laptop and play around with it. Okay. So you actually do spend a lot of time on your laptop, right? Yes. But now we need to see what you're talking about. So you need to demonstrate to us how exactly this... Uh Black, black box, box. Ma matrix black box, uh, you know, uh, software works or hardware in this case works. And if it tracks, uh, say, devices like phones and laptops, how exactly does it do that? You might want to explain to us as well uh, so we can be sure that if we're going to get into business with you, we're also not, our text messages are not going to be read huh, by the people behind the matrix, <laughs> the matrix black box. Yes. Uh I can say that, uh, let me show you. First of all, mm -hmm. um, this is the final, kind of like the semi-final packaging that we got to. Mm -hmm. It comes in a letter. Mm -hmm. um, the packaging actually goes like something like that. It looks like this. Okay. Yes. Nice. So that is a so, battery. Okay. Yes. So what I found out later on is that we needed to add a battery inside the, the, mm -hmm. the black box. Mm -hmm. So the, the function of the battery is simple. Huh? When your laptop is off and uh, you need to track it, since softwares can't do that, you need a backup power for it. Mm -hmm. So I came up with a battery that would be small enough to fit normal laptops at mm -hmm. the same time you can mm -hmm. track. Mm -hmm. Now this is the main black box. Okay. Let's see. Okay, kind of looks like a motherboard. But yes. Hey, there we go. Yes. So that is it. Yeah, it looks funny with the wires, but mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the wires are specific. Yeah. The red and the black are supposed to be for the power. Mm -hmm. The white wire is supposed to be an, a full-fledged antenna. 
Okay, so you insert your, is this a SIM card slot or? Yes. It's a SIM card slot. Yes. All right, so where does this go? So once you put it, you put your SIM card in here, mm -hmm. um, you take the power. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, for this part, uh, I am partnering with a lot of people who do electronics. Yeah. They'll be the ones who are installing. But mm -hmm. maybe I can say uh, they're the ones who understand how to solder. But you have to solder it inside the laptop. So it's soldered in inside the USB charging port. And from there, it's done. Mm -hmm. From there, whatever you do, the black box is always on and it's, you're going to track it wherever it is. All right. So uh, this, if this is a battery, does it do anything else besides just being a battery? And uh, if, if these, I'm seeing, are red and white, yes. um, what exactly do they do? And where do they connect to for the sake of the viewers? Uh, that is a battery. That goes also to the black box. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. that one powers the black box, but in turn, it's also charged by the laptop. Okay. So at any particular time, the laptop is charging the battery, and at the same time, the battery is powering on the black box. So in case it's off, it picks up as back backup battery. All right. So you guys track, but then you also spy. Do you spy with permission or without permission? Uh, the spy part. Mm -hmm. Let me be clear about it. <laughs> First, uh, I want to show why the spy part is there. Yeah. It has nothing to do with us spying on you or mm -hmm. anyone mm -hmm. in that matter mm -hmm. spying on mm -hmm. you because... First of all, the SIM card that you, you put in there, yeah. the number is personal. Mm -hmm. That means it's your line. So you do not reveal that to anyone. It comes in with its own pin and combination, okay? Mm -hmm. So on our end, we do not know that number. So nobody can track you or spy on you as long as you have that number. Now, for the spy feature, what it does actually is simple. Um, I'll have to showcase now exactly how it works yeah. so that you can understand. Mm -hmm. So... It works on a text-based system. Now, uh, having incorporated a lot of uh, gyroscopes, uh, GPS mm -hmm. uh, chips inside, mm -hmm. um, So you will... Customized by you? Yes, customized by me. Okay. So they will have some very crazy names so that it's not written <laughs> tracker, so mm -hmm. that everybody sees it and knows it's a tracker. Yeah. So we have, you save the number. Once you've saved the number, mm -hmm. um, for you to start tracking your laptop, once it's installed, the black box is installed, you text it. So if you text it GPS, mm -hmm. as you can see, mm -hmm. we text it GPS, First, it replies and tells you, hi, the matrix black box is on and GPS has been started. Mm -hmm. Please wait up to five minutes for a response. Mm -hmm. So you wait for at least so five, five minutes. minutes. So at that time, it's taking GPS coordinates, uh, kind of like configuring that text that you sent, and it's going to text you back with the exact GPS coordinates. Mm -hmm. Once it's done, it replies back. So like in this case, you see the next text there is GPS location mm -hmm. unavailable. Mm -hmm. Network-based location accuracy is that meters, latitude, and longitude. Mm -hmm. Now, let me explain that part. Now, this, uh, I, um, the first versions of the tracker just relied on GPS. Yeah. Now, the problem with GPS is this. If you're inside a building like this, due to concrete slab and all that... It's interfered with. It's interfered with. Mm -hmm. You get Because GPS relies on a direct line with a satellite. Now, what you do, it switches to something called triangulation or mm -hmm. network-based location. Mm -hmm. Now, it pings three cell towers 
of uh, the, the, the mobile subscriber that you're using. Mm -hmm. And by doing so, it's able to give you a circular radius of, with an accuracy in meters of just how rough you are, the right. tracker is mm -hmm. in position. Mm -hmm. So that's the accuracy in meters, longitudes and latitude. Mm -hmm. Next thing it gives you as a reply is a Google Maps link. Now, the Google Maps link is just simple. If you have a normal smartphone, just click on it. Mm -hmm. When you open on it, yeah. it will open with Google Maps. All right, I think we'd like to see that. So uh, do you have a link on there that we can... Yes, uh, probably, I'm already showcasing Would it show that your laptop is right here? Yes. Okay, so let's right now try I had, that. I had already pre-texted it. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, it's showing us that you're on standard grouper. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. There it is, yeah. using Google Maps. Mm -hmm. So it just pinpoints exactly this is where your, your laptop is. So just between the time that, say, my laptop goes missing and the time that I get all the access, maybe the waiting the five minutes and all that, how long would it take me before I can figure out where my laptop is when it goes missing? Depending on where it is in terms of network, mm -hmm. It takes between two minutes to five minutes. Two to five minutes. Yes. Okay, that's first enough. So um, in this case, uh, supposing I'm in an area where there's no network, what happens? Uh, in an area where it's not, there's no network, mm -hmm. I have another built-in safe. Mm -hmm. Now, where network is really low, mm -hmm. it switches to lower frequencies, such as 2G right. and edge. So it goes a bit lower on the frequency, and therefore, it has a, a boosted antenna that kicks in, that expands its range so that it's able to see. But at the same time, I do recommend that you use uh, mobile subscribers that have the largest coverage network, mm -hmm. since that will also increase your chances for you to get your, your laptop. laptop or whatever it is or that, whatever it is that you're tracking. All right, so it tracks laptops. What else? Where else can I uh, install the Matrix Black Box? Um, before I get to that, I mm -hmm. think I should have finished on the features so that right. you can see how it works mm -hmm. on other things. Right. Um, if you look at the text that it sends, uh, it also sends you the name of the road that is closest to where your laptop, your laptop is, is yeah. to aid that. Mm -hmm. Now, other things that it does on the side is what I was calling spy, mm -hmm. that I want to explain yeah. how they come in. Mm -hmm. Now, for example, we found out that the laptop is here in this building, mm -hmm. but where in this building? Yeah. You see, we have so many rooms in this place. So it becomes kind of a challenge if you have like three houses and, or ten, and you need to figure out which one it is. Like it's now in this, the basement. Yes, mm -hmm. like right now. Mm -hmm. So what you do is the spy feature is where you, which work now. So you text it again, the word listen. Now that is a command that I have put on the programming. Listen. Listen. Mm -hmm. Now, listen is a very interesting feature. Now, I'm going to do it right now, mm -hmm. and you're going to try and listen. So I'm going to text it, listen, just a minute. Okay. And you're going to see what happens. So when you text it, listen, what will happen is mm -hmm. that using the SIM card, it will pick on the GSM module, mm -hmm. and it's going to call you back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At that point you'll be able to listen to any conversations that happen around that laptop. Okay. Yes. Now I think you're getting to that point that is getting very personal. All right, so you're able to hear about how many conversations around? One, two, three, four, five? Yes. Five conversations. You can listen to close by, anybody as many who's as. around it, mm -hmm. around the laptop. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, why, why, why did I add this feature? Mm -hmm. So what if I've, you've stolen the laptop, I've stolen the laptop, and at that point, I'm making a sale on it, mm -hmm. you know, and, <laughs> and I'm just telling them, hey, it's could you be a Shara Street hands. right now? Yeah? And uh, I have hot cake product here. Yeah. You yeah. get? Mm -hmm. So you need to know exactly what is happening around my laptop. Okay. I would like to actually listen, like literally listen to that. Um, if maybe there's a conversation happening just like the one we're having right now, yes. um, would I be able to listen to that as well? Yes. Okay. That Let's is, try that out. That's what I want to do right now. Mm -hmm. Um, as I turn it on. And that takes about how long? Uh, it just takes a minute. A few minutes. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, um, just as, as you actually figure that out, I'm sure you, you actually uh, do track quite a whole lot more besides laptops. Uh, which are some of them? Um, 
oh, that, that's another uh, cool thing now. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is why it evolved beyond the black box as a tracker for laptops. Mm -hmm. Once we fitted it inside the laptop, that means it can be fitted in anything else. So we have expanded. Now we are fitting it in all other household electronics. Mm -hmm. We are looking at uh, TVs. You can fit it inside your smart TV. Uh, you can fit it inside your big radio subwoofer base. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can fit it inside your fridge. You can oh. fit it inside your microwave. Like literally anywhere. Anything that is electronic, anything that has electricity, you can fit it in. Fantastic. Would it work as a, let's see, what is, what is one of the oddest things we can take a look at as a nanny cam or a nanny uh, spice, whatever? Okay, for the nanny feature, mm -hmm. that is a feature that I'm calling 2.0 features. <laughs> there are other uh -huh. really cool features that are right. coming from it um, that maybe, maybe I can talk about them. Um, advanced features that are coming mm -hmm. on the that Matrix Black in. Box 2.0. Okay, yes. all right. So literally anything electronic. It can be a fridge, it can be at the back of my phone. It can be a car, be, yeah. it can be a motorbike. Mm -hmm. Anything that has electricity. So all these Matatu drivers who keep telling us, you know, they are not making any money uh, anywhere. For people who own Matatus like Bramwell, um, they're able to put this on their vehicles and then do the rounds and uh, figure out exactly how much this taxi driver made. Yes. Okay. That's interesting, actually. So has, has it... Um, oh, uh, uh, Sorry, multitasking was a problem <laughs> right there. All right. Uh, but that is interesting. Are there any challenges you face? Like maybe you have to hide yourself a number of times because uh, somebody is using information or you are being a private investigator for somebody. Um, malicious use. Uh, that one first I have to say. I am not liable for any malicious use. <laughs> <laughs> we are not liable for whatever you do with this device. Right. We primarily built it to help people. Mm -hmm. Now, I know it's going to bring a lot of uh, controversies when it comes to, to, to espionage people mm -hmm. who want to leave their laptops there and listen in to their bosses. Yeah. But at the end of the day, uh, I'd, I'd say use it for good. I'm putting it out there and mm -hmm. I'm showing you just a genuine problem that was there because trust me, we went all the way to China to look for a tracker for laptops. Mm -hmm. It's not there. It is not there. Not sure why. So but you think this is the next big thing? This is the for next Kenya. Big thing. Uh, well, they keep saying there's never been any other big innovation in Kenya after M-Pesa. Could this be the next thing we're looking at? Yes. If I am allowed to explore your mind and tell you exactly what it is going to grow into, yeah. you'll say. Now, for example, um, version 2.0 that I was, as I was talking about, mm -hmm. you will be able to switch off your lights mm -hmm. direct by just texting it. I know it's a lazy thing to do, but it's something that I know I need. Yeah. Just put it in your socket, you switch it off. You can switch it on. Uh, we've added camera features. You can use it as a nanny cam also. Mm. Not just listening to conversations that happen in your house, but you can listen into it. Now I need the black box. Mm -hmm. It goes further than that. Mm -hmm. uh, we have also nearly perfected a version of it I'm going to call the grid box. Yeah. Now, the grid box is a very interesting thing. Grid. The grid box. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the grid box is an advanced matrix black box that will be tracking the electric grid. Now, a current problem, because mine, I think, I always solve problems based on problems. I mean, do tech based on problems. <laughs> yeah. Now, the current problem that we really have with electricity here mm -hmm. is that when it disappears or when it blacks out, yeah. nobody can tell Kenya Power, hey, uh, this and this is going down. Mm -hmm. My area, why is there no uh, electricity? Now, uh, they have to wait for our response mm -hmm. so that they know they go fix it. Mm -hmm. Now, if they deploy the black box, which now would be called the grid box, yeah. they'll be able to know in real time when electricity uh, is cut short at any particular place and they know the exact point because most of what happens is that people do vandalism. They steal transformers, they steal those cables mm -hmm. and therefore Kenya Powers has no idea that they were stolen. Mm -hmm. So it's not their fault. It's due to vandalism. But with the black box they'll be able to see real time what that transformer is happening since mm -hmm. it stays on mm -hmm. and if electricity is, is gone in that grid 
be able to know at this point and place, electricity is not there. All right. Interesting. So we have a lot of questions for you. There's somebody called Geek Dad at Geek Dad 09 is saying a uh, nice info on this gizmo, uh, the Matrix Black Box. Big up to the inventor. And uh, well, you say big up. Well, I think that's a new language I need to get used to. And uh, Francis the second or at Frank K is saying, uh, just catching up. Please ask the techie guy if this technology works for Macbox, does it? Yes, it does, mm -hmm. but that's the other thing that we are working on. Yeah. Uh, for MacBook Airs, mm -hmm. MacBook Airs are very slim, mm -hmm. very slim. Yeah. It's like those guys are working on some nano, really nano things mm -hmm. going mm -hmm. down there. Mm -hmm. So we're working, um, we're working very hard to improve the components by making them smaller. Small enough, yeah. Small enough to fit. Mm -hmm. But in normal MacBooks, you're talking about MacBook Pros, Retina, they'll fit. So you're looking at something small as an SD card. Yes, yeah. because we're also planning to go into tracking phones by having a very micro tracker hardware mm -hmm. which you put inside your phone. All right. And uh, we're having Zakir's Kibet who is saying, how about if the laptop is tampered with, uh, the black box is removed, is there an alert which prompts the owner? Yes. Yeah? Yes. How does it work? Advanced versions for those who can afford the mm -hmm. advanced part because we paused the advanced one because people could not afford it. There are sensors that we added, mm -hmm. and these sensors are key. Whenever the laptop is just being removed, the sensor senses, hey, something here is going on mm -hmm. due to motion mm -hmm. and due to the, the fact that the back end of the cover of your laptop is being opened, right. and it sends you a text immediately, hey. And tells you something is up. Something All right, is let's, up. Let's, let's just take a look at it and see how exactly it works. Maybe you, can, you might want to demonstrate to us exactly uh, how the listen-in uh, bit works. Uh, as we take a look at uh, someone, some other tweets here, we're having the Psy kick or at Mox, who is saying the tracking device for comps and gadgets on KTN is something good. And... Uh, we have one here as well that is uh, coming in from a lady called Lydia. Lydia is saying, um, well, supposing I want to hire you as a private investigator <laughs> to track down maybe my other half, is, is that even possible? <laughs> well, some of these questions I'm about to get uncomfortable <laughs> with. But hey, uh, just take us through. So you said that it was important as well uh, about this. Something you wanted to show us about the Wi-Fi. Um, yes. How important is it and how does it even... Okay, yes. So as I was saying, mm -hmm. once you have the black box inside your laptop, mm. you can see that um, Kushena. Yeah. Kushena is a Wi-Fi that is created by my black box. Mm -hmm. Now, if I want to turn it off, I just text it. We need it. to see that as okay. well. Yes, yeah, so, so if I want to turn on the Wi-Fi or mm -hmm. turn off, mm -hmm. I just text it Wi-Fi off. Mm -hmm. And by texting it like that, mm -hmm. uh, you'll notice what that... What did the, I do? Okay. Uh-huh, go ahead. Um, so yes. we need to see the phone and we need to see what's on the laptop. Just a minute. Mm -hmm. I can hold that for you. Yeah, hold that. So uh -huh. right now the Wi-Fi has been texted off mm -hmm. and on. Mm -hmm. So what happens is that you see Kushena has disappeared. Yeah. The Wi-Fi called Kushena has disappeared. Mm -hmm. So now if you text it again, Wi-Fi on, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wi-Fi on. So it works with whatever prompt you, you yes. send it, right? Simple prompts. Uh -huh. They're all text-based. So after you've texted Wi-Fi on, what happens after that? You text it Wi-Fi on, mm -hmm. you'll see the Wi-Fi Kushena come back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just in a few seconds. Okay. Yes. And... Uh, mm -hmm. Mm. Okay. And so when it comes on, what happens after that? So when it comes on, mm -hmm. you can directly... Um, there it is, Kushena is back. Mm -hmm. Yep, right there. Uh, so if you connect to Kushena... Mm. What happens is that once you're connected, mm -hmm. you can directly go and browse just as you would yeah. on normal browsing, as if you had a modem. Okay. Uh, Facebook. 
it spoke. Okay, I think that one is non-existent. There you go. All right, there but then, uh, okay. Let me show you now the feature for the callback. For the callback, yes. Yes, so if I text it, listen. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So if I text it, listen. Mm. Just give it time. Okay. You'll see it call you back. Uh, the phone just went off. Oh my gosh. Phone. This can't be technology <laughs> that is di dipping us in at this point. There we go. The phone has gone off. The phone has gone off. <laughs> All right. So when it calls you, you're able to listen to what exactly is happening around. Yes. Okay. You're able to listen to anything. As long Does it as have a radius for which you cannot listen? Yes, past 10 meters, mm -hmm. you can't listen. Mm -hmm. Past 10 meters, I think, somewhere there. Okay. Yes. All right. Interesting. So have you had any investors wanting to partner with you as, as, as we come to an end? Uh, yes. I've had lots of investors, but the problem with the investors of uh, today, mm -hmm. uh, I think they do not understand the big picture. They, they want results now. Uh, to be honest, we really tried marketing here in Kenya. So many people are really skeptic about it. Mm -hmm. And because of that, our investors were like, if people are not buying, you know, it's a problem. But funny enough, once I put it online, mm -hmm. we have people buying and partnering with us from South Africa, yeah. uh, Zimbabwe, Zambia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so right now we're actually working with partners. So you partner with us, you become our distributor. That's right. how you're working. All right. I wish you all the best, Kevin. Thank you so much for coming to talk to us. And uh, hopefully uh, this is going to be the big thing. The next big thing we have in Kenya, that's going to be the Matrix uh, Black Box. And so we've come to the end of the show. Kevin Morithi is the CEO for NerdCorp. Uh, so all you nerds who would like to get him inspiring you to keep going at what you're doing, you need to get in touch with him as well. So thank you all so much uh, for watching this show. My name is Joy Doreen Bira. And I think this this actually wraps up my time for sitting in for Michael. He's going to be here tomorrow. So he will be taking on the show from there. For all of you who have been watching, God bless you all.